Bro, what is it? Hey, Mike, give me a hand here, will you? I'm having a real problem with my thigh master. Probably should have looked at the directions before I started messing with it, but no, I just had to work on my trouble spots. Hey, Crow, did you know this was a thaw master? What? A thaw master? Well, how do you like that? <laughs> Hi, Mike. Hi, Crow. Say, guys, hey. breakfast is going to be a little late. This pot roast just won't thaw yet. There's something wrong with a thaw master. No, no Servo, this is a thigh master. <laughs> a thigh master? Mm. Well, no wonder. <laughs> <laughs> this is never going to thaw. Okay. We'll be right back. Son of a gun. <laughs> <laughs> thaw master, thigh master, thigh master, thaw master. <laughs> Reminds me of that time I tried to wear that hand hammered walk for underpants. <laughs> yeah, that really. Hey, Mrs. Farsh is calling. We begin oh, with a frontal cut. Oh, 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 Has he been washed? I washed him earlier with my mind. Oh. It was not pleasant. Hi, guys. Things have deteriorated down here. Unless I'm mistaken, and frankly, what are the odds of that? The brain guys are about to dissect Bobo. Say, could we get on with this dissection? I think it's almost meal time. Bobo's very stupid. Anyway, I'm locked in some kind of force field. So here's the deal. I know you guys despise me, even loathe me, so could you help me out? Careful, care, careful. I need a distraction of some kind. If you can think of something, I promise to never show you another bad movie again. Really. Never again, ever. Hmm, you think we can trust her? I don't know. Please. Please, pretty please, for Pearl. Pearl needs a distraction so bad. Please, come on, for Pearl. Please. Oh, my oh. God, stop it. Okay, fine, fine. Just don't do that. Maybe the nanites have an idea. <clears throat> Hello, nanites, could you uh, create a distraction? Distraction? Cool. I know, I know, I know. We can send a fleet yeah. of tiny ships down there to pants them. <laughs> well, gee, that seems kind of complicated. Oh, I know. Simpler. Sure. Okay. Uh, I know. We could always uh, biosynthesize an android and send down there to say, hey, look over there. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Why don't you just uh, cut the tractor beam that's holding us here? Yeah, fine. And number three, sure. We never get to do anything fun. There, it's done. Hey, great. How's that, Mrs. Forrester? Is that distracting? Yeah, what the devil was that? It's very distracting. Yes. Observer, you remain here, Observer, and I will check it out. Certainly. Guard! Hey, guard! I got a sick man in here. Uh, do you mean me? Because I'm not sick. I'm being deceptive. Shut up. Okay. Your friend, Observer, created an invisible man with his mind and put him in here with me. I suppose that's possible. Yeah, I... and now he's looking real sick. Uh-oh, you better get in here quick. I don't think you'd want him to die. Well, well where is he? Well, I... he's right over there. Look. I, oh, I... boy, he sure looks bad. I, I'm sorry. I'm just not... Okay, beautiful. Oh, you and your brain are coming with me, mister. Don't, don't hurt my brain. Everything's <laughs> nice and comfortable. Everybody's okay. Just keep... Oh! Come on with me. Come on, Bubba. We're getting off this planet. Wouldn't it be more polite to wait until after I'm Shut up! Okay. You put down the brain. I'm not putting down the brain. I'm not putting down the brain. Mike, I accidentally lied. Your movie today is She Creature. I'm not putting down the brain. 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 She creature. You know who I'm thinking is a she creature, huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Hey, I tried to steer us away from the planet, but the stupid smart guys have cut our navigational system. Well, uh, maybe the nanites can take care of that little problem, huh? Yeah, we'll fix your little problem for you. Uh huh. Hey, Steve, Mr. Nelson wants a number seven. Pronto. Well, there you go. That took care. Hey, what's a number seven? Oh! 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 Oh. Mike, you blew up another planet. What is your deal? I just told him to take care of the little problem. I and they that... did. Here comes oh. Mike, destroyer of worlds. Oh, Mike. God of fire and God. vengeance. Stay away from me. You're the need to get away from me. Away. We got the movie sign. <laughs> I didn't. It's this not me. Uh, what this is I... as colorful as the movie's gonna get. Aha, the RuPaul story. Hey, Tim Conway as Dorf is gonna be in this. <laughs> hey, there's Tim Finn. <laughs> there's Gil Hodges. <laughs> there's Gil Gerard. There goes Joe Pesci. There's Prunella Scales. There's Abe Vigoda. <laughs> is there a sturgeon in the house? <laughs> Can I borrow a Finn? 
sea turtle. Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> Based on drunken comments made one night by Lou Russo. At least the production was supervised. Things didn't get out of hand. Clearly the ocean does not have metered ramps. Why, it's humid today. Oof. Oh, Lee Trevino goes fishing. Samuel Z. Doomkoff. Yeah, Samuel Z. Wienerhead. Well, I think ideally it should be related to his name. Oh. Hey, there's Bennett Surf and Billy Ocean! Stop it, sir. <laughs> Once again, folks, a Golden State production. Is this a Show Me State production? No, I think it's a Golden State production. Oh, wait a minute, wasn't it already produced by someone? Edward Kahn, Edward Kahn, let me rock you, that's all I want to do. Edward Kahn, let me rock you, that's all I want to do. Gidget meets Magritte. <laughs> now, on this very night, I have called her from the unknown depths of time itself. Uh-huh, and you are? She is here. And with her coming, the world will never be as it was. Hey, a fluffer nutter spill. Neither man nor animal will be the same. Nor manimal. This... I, Dr. Carlo Lombardi, have brought into being. Dr. Carlo Lombardi of Yonkers. And I, Dr. Woof Woof Lombardi. Well, I can certainly see how. Sleep! I need my warm medicine. I need it now. What's that? Grandpa Lombardi fell down a well? I'm sorry, Mr. Lombardi. I'm stuck you with someone else. Look, you smell like spam and It was my mistake, my mistake. God, I hate cats. Yeah, well, I left a present for you in the front seat of your car. <laughs> Top breeder, Bat Masterson. Hmm, Howard the Duck was here. I've got sand in my derby. Hey, hey, I'm the monkey. People say I monkey around. Fun times at the Kennedy compound. There you go, Mr. Traficante. Enjoying your weekend with the idle race? When does it start? Pretty heady stuff for a professor in psychic research. Oh, you sound a little disapproving. Not at all. I just don't feel I belong in your world of yachts and racing states. Some of those tycoons in there, including your father, kind of frighten me. Oh, come now. This type of life shouldn't be too hard to get used to. Let's face it. I'm an hourly farm boy with a professorship at the university. But basically, a farm boy. <laughs> I don't belong in all that. <laughs> Very well, that will get you away from them for a while. A walk along the ocean will do it. I'd like that. But I don't know how. I don't know how your fiancé will react to that idea. Oh, Bob, my ex-fiancé. That makes quite a difference. Come on, Ted. You've got the backstory. Now run. I'm ready for some football. <laughs> Yeah, and four facts all from that hell. Oh, mafia goons and withered spinsters partying together. So that horrid blonde finally let you go, eh? Hey, that's hmm. our daughter. That horrid blonde represents an investment portfolio of half a million bucks. Hmm? Where's Dorothy? She went for a walk with Ted. Oh, I wish she hadn't. Why? Well, Dr. Lombardi said something terrible is going to happen along this part of the coast tonight. <laughs> Some visitation from the occult world. Uh, the occult world. Oh, no, really, seriously, you must meet him. He's wonderful. Some women keep pets or grow roses for kicks. My wife supports quack cultists. <laughs> A couple of years ago, it was that spiritualistic medium. Last year, Swami is something or other, and now Dr. Lombardi. Oh, Professor well, Firefly. So long as it amuses you. <laughs> no, seriously. He puts this girl into a deep trance and takes her back 300 years. Now, she tells about her life in England. I tell you, it's uncanny. Yeah, yeah. I married Aunt B. Looks pretty serious between Dorothy and Ted. She's fooling for him. I'm afraid it's pretty one-sided so far. Nonsense. If she wants him, she'll what get him. Is... What's the uh, market price on professors of psychic research? Not very high, I imagine. Oh, you ghost. <laughs> you pheasant. Mother's a little disappointed in you. She thought you'd liven up the party with some of the tricks of your trade. Nope. You know, hypnotism, demonstrations of thought transference. I know. She thought I'd make it an age regression party. I told her that was Dr. Lombardi's field, not mine. I could use a frogert. <laughs> the Fleet Street line of beachwear. Well, is this the Mr. Kite everyone's always doing stuff for the benefit of? <laughs> Paladin's Beach Home. 
Smitty Murph, you maniacs. Oh, it's Helen Keller's room. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, wall. <laughs> uh, make yourself at home just looking at the wall here. Uh, guys, are, are we still going to watch the game? Damn cats. This is scary. I'm not going to get any sleep tonight. The man with flaming swim fins did this. Uh, mayhem I can put up with. It's the damn dust. I just... Uh... Rin Tin Tin in coming home. Hey, do you know where my socks are? The death of Tyne Daly. He's an amazing man. Do you know him? Quite well. He's challenged me publicly and privately to disprove the authenticity of his experiments. And to oil jockstrap wrestling. Oh. That sounds like King's Bar. Since it's King running right at us, you're probably right. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I ate the whole thing. As your RA, I should warn you, you're facing expulsion. <laughs> I'm going out for a sack of White Castles. You want anything? I just found out my food is mostly rice. Can I have some lamb, please? Well, what's the matter with him? Maybe he's jealous of me. Oh, that's weird. You haven't given him cause to be yet. I think I've made my point. <laughs> he wants us to follow him. Oh, gee, do you think so? Of course I want you to follow me. I think I'll grab the boogie board and hit some waves. I hope to God we don't see this guy in a thong before the movie's over. <sighs> I'm going to tell Hobie to stay away from the pier. That looked like Dr. Lombardi to me. It was Dr. Lombardi. And that sounds like King's Bark. <laughs> now, now, come here. I want to prove to you I'm not the only one who craps in the corner. Oh, what's that, boy? A four-year assumable mortgage? Let's go. I think I might have killed some people, and I'm feeling a little bad about it. Uh, should I wait here, or I, I, I'll... Everybody is a starfish. Shazam, my pipe's gone. The Dallas Cowboys training camp. King, what have you done here? King, kill outside, outside, King. You're going to hang for this, King. Well, what is it? Go on home and call the police. The police? I'll wait here for them. Hurry up. King is the Scorpio killer. <gasps> The only movie based on a lens flare. Uh, I don't feel fresh. Anything like it. Next broken in two like a pile driver hitter. The man's two. I suspect a pile driver. Five or six hundred dollars here. It's three hundred each. That lets robbery out. Hey. Here's something. Of course, you can say that about anything. <laughs> Piece of seaweed. All the way to the door. Eisenhower, P.I. Now, the carpet's wet here. Might be a footprint. Go into the kitchen and see if there's any flour, will you? Roll on it and pan fry yourself. You willing to swear you saw a long body coming out of this house? Of course. Who wants cookies? I'm going to make some toll house. By the way, why do we do this, Earl? Detective's handbook number one. Chuck flour and blow on it. What would make a footprint like that? Bill Walton? Whoever or... man could have forged it. You think a human could have done this? No, I think a mud skipper did it. Oh, I almost forgot about your firm belief in Lombardi's black magic and occult powers. It's not me, it's my wife. She swears by him. Now, what did he say was coming to roam among us? He said, sleep! out of time. The first life form of someone living today. Over a million years old. Strom Thurmond? <laughs> you see, Doctor, that's how civilized we are. Scratch the veneer and what do you find? A whole carload of superstitions waiting to be catered to. Vampires, witchcraft, mm. supernatural creatures oh. being brought back from the past. I'm just patting my own arm. I'm not in this scene. He's got a lot of people listening to it. It's not me. It's my wife. All right. It's your wife. Yeah, like somebody lays with you. You willing to identify Lombardi now? Make things a lot simpler. Sure. You wait here for the lab boys. I want pictures. Plenty of them. You're going to leave me alone here? It's not like it was an ordinary stiff. I can take that seven days a week. Come on. But, but it, it might come back. Oh, but it's not you that is superstitious. It's your wife who's the gullible I'm one. I'm a flaky little detective elf. 
Brooklyn, California. <laughs> Get your bags of rat filth. Step right up. I'll touch you for a quarter. Come on. Rat filth. Hey, I found another dirty diaper. Won't make you break your such up on a farm out west. Ten cents. Yes, sir. Hey, hold them, Marty. Lousy knife. No business at all. I find it very pleasant. I heard a scream from your place about 15 minutes ago. I thought it was Andrea. I ran over to check up, see if she was in trouble. I told you to keep away from her. I knew her long before you did, Doc. I knew her when she was a carnival follower. Every time we hit a town, she'd be there waiting for us. So she's a carnival preceder. I've asked you to forget that. Have we met? Well, anyway, I heard the screams. I went over. The back door was open. I went in. She was out cold. How do you keep her under like that? I thought she was dead. I was going to call the cops. It's so tiresome having to warn you to mind your own business. So very tiresome. Well, I'm naturally curious. Poor kid, she was out cold. What's it all about, Doc? Why do you keep her under like that? Alfie. I have an idea you'll find out soon. Is it something I said at breakfast this morning? <laughs> See his lecture series, Let a Smile Be Your Calling Card. <laughs> Author, lecturer, choreographer. Endorsed by King the Dog. I bark my ass off. You'll laugh, you'll growl, you'll pee. See him perform live with his band, Funkasaurus. Damn, I left the woman plugged in. This guy leaves grease stains in the air as he walks. I come home from a hard day of skulking and the place isn't clean. You just lay in there thinking of bonbons. You're in a deep sleep, Andrea. A very deep sleep. I was. Now I will touch you and slowly you'll awake. And you'll get me some damn dinner. Well, I'd better repaint my head. Someone ripped off our lawn gnome again. What the? Yeah, she's dreaming of old carnivals she's been to. Are there any turkey sausages left? There'll be creatures over the white cliffs of Dover. Well, I gotta go bleed the sprinklers. I don't know. Oh, honey, please don't spend another Christmas passed out on the couch. Now you'll come back to me, Andrea. You'll feel refreshed. You'll remember nothing. Well, you remember how to go potty and chew and stuff, but... Uh... He's like an unattractive Slim Whitman. <laughs> well, that's great, Mesmer, but you left jelly all over the cutting board this morning. I gotta go levitate over to Denny's for my shift. What time is it? Shortly after midnight. Oh, don't let it all hang down, please. You've had me in a deep hypnosis for more than an hour. I asked you not to do that. Well, you were tired. You needed the rest. I need to get away from here. Away from you. Uh, can I come? I hate this place. I hate the sound of the ocean. Mm. I hate you. I can't help but feel that was directed at me. <laughs> well, I didn't mean I hate you in a bad way. I... Anyone call about the charger? You'll never leave me. You can't. I will. Someday I will. Soon. You want to make some nachos? As long as I'm alive, I'll possess you. I should bag those leaves. There's something beyond yourself that makes you need me. You've taken my soul away from me. Well, you told me to take it so you wouldn't overuse it. The door's open. Come in. Can we get two seats together? Hi, Max. May I suggest they size up from that? <laughs> I'm Lieutenant James. Oh? This is Timmy. <laughs> Dr. Erickson. Um, breast? Uh, yes. Is this the man you saw coming out of the Jefferson house? Uh, boobies, yes. exactly. <laughs> no doubt in your mind? No. Well, he knows me quite well. I've been trying to interest him in my work for some time. And you don't deny you're in the Jefferson house approximately 15 minutes after 11. Not at all. Well, that closes the investigation. Yeah. I won't need you any longer, Doctor. Thank you. How are you, Miss? Wow, it's the Federal Witness Seduction Program. <laughs> um, sleep? Uh, <laughs> sleep? 
You want to go home and play? I got to box some men. What's it all about? Maybe we can talk about it over a cup of coffee. I'd like that. Would you like a C cup or a D cup of coffee? So you go to carnival locations and wait for them, huh? Ooh, Look into my oily T zone. I can't go with you. I'm not a coffee achiever. And he ducks out of the screen. <laughs> Bye. Guess the stain and win a prize. <laughs> oh. You say you knew they were dead the minute you saw the open door. Yeah, see? Pity. Nice young couple. She came out of the ocean, just as I said she would. But she'll come again. Look, I'm not a paying customer. I'm a police officer. She comes from the <coughs> beginning of time. Huge and indestructible. Thank you. And I'm the force that gives her life. All I know, you were seen coming out of that house, leaving two corpses behind you. In the occult world notwithstanding, I think I'll take you downtown and wait till the reports come in. Well, I can tell you what the reports will say. They'll say, sleep! But no living thing <laughs> killed them. Yeah, I know. It was a materialization of the prehistoric female. The transmigration sleep, well. of the soul of a living woman into her first life body. Save it, save it for downtown. <laughs> Hey, Mike, there you are. I had an idea and I wanted to run it by a totally average, unspectacular, not overly bright consumer. And here you are. <laughs> yeah, sure, Crow. Good. Hey, give me that thing under there, will you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's my Tickle Me Carlo Lombardi doll. Oh, wow. What the? Yeah, it's just Ugh. like the lovable Tickle Me Elmo doll. Only it's Carlo Lombardi. What? Why? Oh, what? that's a lot of little boys' initial reaction to dolls. But you'll grow to love it as you take it into your room, perhaps prop it next to your bed as you sleep. He'll watch over you. He's Dr. Carlo Lombardi. Crow, why would you even Go make ahead, a doll? Go ahead, Mike. Tickle him. No. Oh, I think you'd better, Mike. Tickle me, Carlo Lombardi. Doesn't like to be disappointed. Well, I just... Just to be safe. Okay. That's right. Tickle me, Carla Lombardi is your friend forever. Yeah, and I made him sticky so he's even more fun. You can feed him the special baby food included. And in a few minutes, change Tickle me, Carla Lombardi's diety. And there's a song, too. Who's that fat little funny little doll? It's Tickle me, Carla Lombardi. Whose little diaper needs a good little change? Tickle me, Carlo Lombardi. Tickle me, Carlo Lombardi, and tickle me, Carlo Lombardi, sold separately. Uh, you know, you know that thing's kind of creepy. Nah, I don't think it'll work. You can have that doll, though, Mike. I'm done with it. Thank you. <laughs> well, look at that. Despite all his money, Mr. Drysdale eats alone. Where's my sheared eggs? <laughs> Works every time. What that dog? Hickers, Smitty, Yitters. I get a nervous Adam Zeppelin, and that makes my tie jump off. Inspired Morning, by Balky. Morning, Jan. Dorothy will be down in a minute. I'll be dead. I killed her. <laughs> Certainly not too popular with that member of your family. Take him to the kitchen and get him something to eat, huh? The last time I took him to the kitchen, he knew eat up the cook. Thank you very much. What's so stupid? Oh, God, I am dead, my carotid artery. Oh, the racket's really heavy today. Well, an early rise at 10. Good. I can see a man get up early. Shows he's aggressive, wants to get ahead. Damn, Jerry's at it again. You yeah, too much credit, Mr. Chappell. This uh, yeah. Jefferson thing last night, pretty grim. <laughs> Kept them all buzzing for a while after Dorothy came home. I'm over here, sir. sir. Surprising how many of them think that Lombardi had something to do with it. Whole gang's been down to see his show. Sorry, looked Mr. at you. Chappell tried to bully me into going along. Damn, wigwags. Yes. Take a look at that front page. God ailing still holds on. Hmm. Let me get my welding glasses on here. I play a little game every morning. I call it my front page game. Sure you do. I'm uh, getting a little old to play most of the others. Well, I'm a limp noodle. I read the front page every morning and yeah. see if I can pick out an item or two that'll make me a lot of money. Surprising how often it's worked out. A coordinate cartoon. You ever tried? Yeah. No, I can't say I have. No. Can the she-creature begin killing now? You read about the Jefferson murder? Yes. 
There's a million dollar idea in that. Last paragraph. Read it. Sell something for a million dollars. One baffling aspect of the case concerns Dr. Carlo Lombardi, carnival hypnotist and prognosticator. Well, that's the plot Only summary. Last week he predicted that such a murder would take place, describing it with grisly accuracy. He was questioned by the police, but not held. Molly Ivins can't say that. You see a fortune in that? Yes. Oh, wait, yeah. no. And it's right up your alley. Ouch. And yours is a wedding present. You're serious, aren't you? Couldn't be more so. We'll take this two-bit local sideshow man and build him into the biggest thing in the country. Build him up until his name's on everyone's lips. Lombardi books, syndicated columns, lectures, television shows. Cheese, a line of underwear. This prediction of his is worth a million dollars, and you and I can do it. Yeah. Where do I fit in? You don't. I bought you out already. <laughs> you can give him the stamp of authenticity. <laughs> Dr. Erickson, psychic research specialist, says Lombardi experiment's amazing. Open new avenues in the understanding of the subconscious. Why don't you kiss him instead of mm. talking him to death? They'll swallow it. They'll swallow it whole and love it. Yeah. This is the sort of escape stuff the world's crying for. Yeah. Look at my wife and her friends. No thanks. It's a natural. <laughs> It'll be a lark for me and money for you and Dorothy. Yes. I've been trained to fight stupidity and ignorance, not get rich on them. So put them up. Men like Lombardi have put hypnosis back 25 years. You ever prune your ferns? They've taken a modern tool of science and made a plaything out of it. Worse than that, a weapon. And in the hands of quacks like Lombardi, a dangerous weapon. And you want me to help sell him to the public? I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> Wait until that loot starts rolling in. That'll take care of your scruples. I'll go and talk to him tomorrow. What do you say? Forget it. So, we're on. I don't need that kind of money. I need wampum bucks. Do you want to go faster? Raise your hand if... Yes, sir. Try your luck. Ten cents. One tenth of a dollar. Where's Lombardi's place? Right next door, but he's closed. Been having trouble with the police. Yeah, I read about it in the papers. You want to get in, just jingle a couple of coins. The door's open automatically. His kissing booth isn't doing very well, is it? See Carlo Lombardi's erotic dance of the veils. <laughs> Hello, sleep! The devil did you know I was trapped? What do you mean you were expecting me? I was communicating with your thoughts before you left your home. <laughs> yeah, communicate with my butt. Communicating with my thoughts, huh? I suppose you can tell me what I'm doing here, too. You're talking to me. You come down here to discuss a business matter with me. Good guess, Lombardi. Remarkable guess. I'm a remarkable man. Uh, right. What you come in, Mr. Chapel? Kind of an odd bed and breakfast. <laughs> Let's get to the point. How would you like to be a rich man as well as a remarkable one? Hello. Naturally, I have to get you out of this crazy place. I got a chicken You've plate. got something to sell. Ow. Ow. How can you expect to get your price in here? The facts about reincarnation, 35 cents. I'll get you 350 for that. Yeah. Well, I'd be most grateful, sir. Yeah, we'll make them pay real money to see your act. I have no act. Yeah, I saw it. I have knowledge. <laughs> That's the boy, that's the boy. Keep a straight face and hit him hard. Lord Newt Rockney. I'm a businessman, Lombardi. Yes. I can see money in this, big money. Big Balinese wheel money. Fifty-fifty. What do you say? Well, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. Okay, sir. our deal starts as of now. Come over to my house tomorrow night. I'm having some people come over and might do us some good. Newspaper man, a book publisher, a doctor of psychic research, a Dr. Erickson. Yeah, John and Yoko will stop by. Oh, yes, I know him. One of my most outspoken critics. Mm-hmm. Get him involved, too, if you can, even if it's only to call you crazy. Make good publicity. That's what we need, publicity. Yes. And play it up big. Give them everything you've got. Some more of this she creature stuff. Some more predictions. Uh, murder next month, maybe. Unfortunately, it may happen sooner than that. Very much sooner. Wait, is this the 20th? I feel her presence even now. No presence before Christmas. She'll come out of the ocean tonight. That's the stuff. That's the stuff, the big lie. That's what sells. I'll see you tomorrow night. And remember, play it up big. Big nasally line reads. We've got to shake them. We'll shake them. See you tomorrow night. Try the pronto pups, by the way. To the good life. Mm, pigeon kidneys turned out runny again. Bob Dornan after the election. You sleeping? Karen called about Bridge Club. You will 
go into a much deeper sleep. Ugh. Very deep. Like Moody's deep, man, really deep. You will go back in time. You will find neck waddles sexy. I command you. <sighs> Did you have the cab salad? Leave your body. You can always pick it up later. This is simply hypnotic suggestion, you understand? He's not insisting on anything. Suggestion. Oh, damn, Bumpus is dark. Get off the lawn! Oh, oh excuse me. The ocean needs Zantac. Oh. No catch, no catch, out of bounds. Samurai Lobster. Why do they have to park in front of our house? I just... Knife who knew me as Jacob Marley. Oh, it's just the stairs that bother me now, dear. It's... Well, the Henderson's got a new big screen. Hmm. I'm the special tonight. You can have me with drawn butter, relish tray, fruit cup or gravy, sliced tomato salad, or muffin. Okay, tough one. Who's uglier here? Hmm. Carlo Lombardi for AccuView. You know, the same features rearranged could be very attractive. You will obey. Oh, look at the Henderson tramp out there. I that Mickey Spillane sure can write. Huh? Apartment uh, 12, okay. Wait. Who's that? Just let the neighborhood know about the new Red Lobster. Oh, I forgot. Let me quick get ready. Dr. Carlo Lombardi, a singing deathogram. Abbott! Abbott! Oh, ooh, death by Murphy bed. They killed Sauvage Pierre. Oh, hello, Lieutenant. Hello, Max. Lombardi. You killed Johnny. Oh, did I? Well, prove that, and I'll have to face a murder charge. Can you prove you were in here when it happened? I can. I don't see what difference it makes. I warned you she'd come again, and you laughed at me. Not as hard as you're laughing at me right now. Uh -huh, uh -huh, I'm gonna uh -huh. book you. Well, on what charge? For being in communication with a world that you say doesn't exist? You're a murderer, and I'm gonna prove it. First, a purple uh, Herman. Lieutenant, I urge you to keep the beaches clear. It's my civic duty. Take it easy. This is from Men's Warehouse. No Barbara Hershey, Bette Midler vehicles. All sand must go. Yeah, a little kid pooped in the ocean. They had to close the whole thing. Ooh. What's Chapel's interest in this maniac? I wouldn't know. I'm only his lawyer. Maybe he just hates to see injustice done. <coughs> I'll bet. Or maybe it's because uh, Lombardi is entertaining at his house tonight. Are you going with anyone? Oh. Doctor, are you all right? Yes. The next time this man is pulled in on some trumped-up charge, we'll sue for false arrest. Oh, we don't have to. Most interesting experience. I'm quite certain I made a few new converts. Mm -hmm. Come back, come back. Gotta... Oh, nothing. Jaime's pissed. <laughs> Honey, this is supposed to be a memorial service for Grandpa. Cha, cha, cha. Cha, cha. <laughs> and she's only seven. Kaiser Sose on piano. Since when have you gone to that spook stuff chapel? There must be money in it. Oh, no, no, you've got me wrong. Man yeah, sensational. Yeah, Genuine thing. Yeah, free. Made yeah, a convert yeah, out of me. Now I know there's a buck in it. <laughs> yeah, free. Yeah, free. Yeah, free. I'm so excited. Dr. Lombardi, here in my very own home. Oh, I thought it was going to be a boring weekend. If what you say is true, I'm certainly going to drop the Ali Ben Ali group. Uh -huh. They're becoming quite ordinary. Just about anyone can join. <laughs> yeah, it's funny man loves the top. There he goes. <laughs> you're, you're a dumb squarehead like this guy, aren't you, Mike? Huh? <laughs> Actually, that's just my hey, dad's. Hey, that's that son of Bob, he's as drunk as a lumberjack. Yeah, he drinks like a fish. Yeah, but not the same stuff. <laughs> they might teach poop, just keeping him filled up. Teach his poop. For 18 years, I tried to teach you how to speak good American. Then I, I speak just as good broken American as you do. Lice. Teach his poop. All right, then my foot's his peep. Oh. You're a million miles away, Ted. And just when I thought I was beginning to get through to you. Look, Dorothy, I'm out of my element in a place like this. This is pretty occupied. 
exploitation with trivialities yeah, yeah, yeah. talk I about mean, money. Yeah, you um, yeah. What you might call a square, I guess. Or dull bastard. Are you real, aren't I? I don't know. Right. Sometimes I think you are, and then I see you as part of the silent yeah, Sometimes pictures. I just trail off, I don't know. <laughs> well, that sounds like a high-class special. Is that what it is? I think I'd quit this job. Last night it was the Jefferson place, and tonight maybe here. Nah, we stay here. Ah, Hobbit. Martha, the cook says it. It comes out of the ocean. It, it, it's tall, tall like a building, and it has got the uh, arms like a pile driver. <laughs> <laughs> I am not afraid. For 18 years I'm married to you. <laughs> Nothing scares me anymore. I'm a stupid square head. <laughs> I don't know why you had to import a hypnotist. Why don't you get him to perform for us, Tarly? I don't use hypnotism to amuse drunks. I use it to get women. Uh, look, Bob, why don't you go and, and drink yourself up a nice parade of pink elephants, huh? Last chance, Dorothy. To have me erp on you. I'll give you one more chance to marry me. Look familiar, Mike? Thank you. Hey. We'll have a honeymoon for three. You, me, and a whiskey bottle. The Hazelden Holiday Party. Ah, the party can start. <laughs> it's so thrilling to have you here, Doctor. Absolutely thrilling. My pleasure, madame. Hello? Keg in the bathtub, as usual. <laughs> Hit me, I'm locked up. Beautiful, isn't she? A strange beauty. Weird figures. <laughs> oh, you're good, too. The night at Lombardi's. Oh? Evidently, she made quite an impression, didn't she? Only sexually. Don't. I... Blockbuster video. Oh, uh, just a minute, please. Ow, my elbow. The house is nicely gift wrapped. We're going to rock this place. Uh, Lieutenant James, at the front door. <laughs> oh? Go cream some fish, you square head. INS, you're harboring mm -hmm. unfunny sweets. What can I do for you? I'm very anxious to catch Dr. Lombardi's act. Your mind? Mind? No, not at all. Yeah. Hiya, Doc. Hello, Lieutenant. An excellent idea. Very good. Mm. A nice mm. little touch. Mm. I'm gonna kick your ass so bad. I see Dr. Lombardi's got himself another follower. I had him in jail once, but Chapel's lawyer sprung him. But how are you? We didn't have enough evidence. You're gonna have to help me on this one, Doc. More in your line than mine. You're not going for that supernatural hope. Battle of the mumblers. I don't really know what I'm going for. I know he's a killer. Lieutenant Mickey Hart. He doesn't really deny it. He just laughs at me and says, prove it. You keep your eyes peeled, will you, Doc? All right, folks. Curtain time. Take your seats, please. I'm expecting a little bigger crowd, but I guess we should start them. Man, they're stage presence. He's the Sammy Davis Jr. of hypnotists. Okay, a couple of announcements. The bathrooms are there and there. Da, 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 da. It has been my good fortune to find in this young lady the perfect hypnotic subject. Through her, I will reveal to you some of the hidden mysteries of life itself. First, we need a location, okay? Look at me, Andrea. Ha! That's amazing! Are you ready? Yes. I shall touch you, and soon you will be asleep. So, like every night. You okay, honey? You feel all right? You're a little warm. Good. Now you can hear everything I say. Yes, I am Beer Evelyn Ping you Day. Raise your right arm, please. Which way to the bar, Andrea? <laughs> Lower it. Now the left arm, please. Starts kind of slow and then fizzles out altogether. Put it down, please. Now for the finale, both of them. <laughs> Thank you. Now take your place by the couch. How much is six? Take away four, Andrea. Good. A little forward, please, Andrea. Yes, their German expressionist home Good. life. Sit down on the couch. Could they have skipped a bit? <laughs> Sit down, Andrea. She's trying to fight him off. It's a big slab of sit-down for you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We are privileged to have with us tonight one of the country's leading exponents of psychic research. Pete Torgerson. Dr. Erickson. Take the gum out, please. This Dr. Erickson has called me a fraud and a charlatan. I invite him to join me on this platform so that he may expose me. No. So Ooh. that he may show you why and how I perpetrate a fraud. <laughs> if you please, Doctor. If you don't mind, I'll sit here with the paying customers. Fascinating, Captain. 
You refuse, Doctor? Go on, Ted. Get up there and show him up. Ted, 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 Really, Ted, you should. Vaya con Dios. Please, Ted, you've got to. Wow, this is just like Courtney Cox in that Springsteen video. <laughs> All homosexuals to the stage, please. <laughs> I'm kidding. My next experiment is a most interesting one, Doctor. I shall prove that life is an endless chain. That we are given the gift of it, not for one lifespan, but since the beginning of time. Wow, he's got a jiffy pop head. Ladies and gentlemen. Lick me. I shall give you living <laughs> proof of reincarnation. Of perpetual life itself. God. <laughs> oh, uh-huh. Yeah, I know what you mean. Mike Nelson destroyed my planet, too. <laughs> hey, hand me the Cheez-Its, will ya? And don't forget, you gotta pony up some gas money, too. Got that powder. <laughs> hey, I know what let's do. Let's sing. Let's sing a round of row, row, row your boat. Okay, okay I'll start. <laughs> Row, row, row your boat. No, wait, 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 wait a second. You start when I point at you, okay? Okay. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. No, 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 no. You start at the beginning of the song. It's a round, okay. damn it, a round. Now sing. Okay. Row, row, row your boat row, gently down row, the stream. Merrily, 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 Get it. <laughs> you know what? I'm glad you're the last of your civilization. Oh, lawgiver. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, and now we have a flat. Oh, it doesn't make any difference, Bobo. Well, we can't ride the whole way on the rim now, can we? We're in space. It doesn't make any difference. Women. Jeez, I'll get up and fix it. Yeah. Oh, my. Oh. By the way, Mike Nels Pants, this doesn't mean that you won't not be finishing your movie. Mm -mm. In fact, quite the opposite. It means that you won't not be not finishing your movie. No way. <laughs> Right brain guy. Oh, yes. Uh, no. I, I, what have I? I don't know. Hey! Nice place! Well, I better go get that ape before he gets hair all over that planet. <laughs> I'm sorry, were you talking to us? In the basket, winner <laughs> quarter. Oh, 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 It's a little different from up here, eh, college boy? This might not be the money-making extravaganza they thought it would be. <laughs> Do you think I'm Dale? You're going to sleep. Very deep. There's an unkillable funk from his tuxedo. Your eyes are getting heavy, Andrea. So is your bottom, I've noticed. You cannot open them. I put super glue in your mascara. I had smoky Gouda cheese today. You smell it? Will you examine her, Doctor? For free, yeah. Tell a joke or something. Juggle. She's under hypnosis. Go ahead. Very thorough examination. Now you are traveling back through time and space. And flavor. Farther. Farther back. You've canceled the paper. Back. You've stopped the milk. Come forward. Oh. Come forward quickly. Make up your mind. We're having fun. That's better. Put your leg down. You forgot to wear a slip. Now stop when you want to. Stop when you see something familiar. You want to stop now? Yeah. Where are you? Looking live at Sold Out Giant Stadium. In the Oman Oxnam Road in London. What is your name? Elizabeth Ann Weatherby. My father is principal of Riverdale High. You are smiling, Elizabeth. No, it's just gas. Is something pleasant taking place? I have brought Captain Ernest Blystone to see me father. He is going to ask for me and in marriage. What the hell is Dr. that? Dr. Erickson is mm. going to question you. You will answer him. It will be multiple choice and a few short essay questions. Better start the car. Sleep. Oh, great act, man! You are eating it raw. <laughs> My first question: Will I get the part in this island, Earth? What 
year is it, Andrea? The year of the cat. 1618. The year of our Lord. In Alfred, Ereford and Hampshire. Who's the reigning monarch? James Stewart. Now, wait a second. You're crazy and you're driving me crazy, too. <laughs> Who is Lord Chamberlain of his court? The Earl of Somerset. What's his wife's maiden name? Francis Howard. No, wait. Susan Lenkowski. Damn, that's not it either. You will no doubt authenticate this information. I will. You must admit this would be impossible to fake. Your witness, Counselor. Now we are moving forward in time. It's the year Kajillion. You are older. Much older. You qualify for senior discounts. You're in your last illness, Elizabeth. You're on your deathbed. Smells like it, too. My son David is at my side. Gone. He said he would do as I ask. Now he sits and waits. So do we. What did you ask of him? We got a sitter for this crap? I'll be buried in Caddy's book near me husband. And that Ernest medallion be buried with me. Smell my mustache. What does that medallion look like? It is a gold shield. A gold shield? With one ruby set in it. Is there an inscription on it? Because I lost one like that. Yes. It says, I am a diabetic. To me loyal subject. It says, me loyal subject? Ernest it is engraved with King Charles' seal. What the hell did she say? Oh, I can't hear a thing. Can you hear anything? Yeah, I jump in Yemeni, I know. Thank you, Elizabeth. Why don't you punch out now? That is enough. You will rest now. Sleep. Deep sleep. Big pans of sloppy sleep. More. Deeper. Uh, Lombardi, you got me parked in out there. You're putting her in a cataleptic state. That's dangerous. She survived that danger before. Excuse me, please. I knew we should have hired Williams and Ree. Where are you now, Elizabeth? Under a big cloud of your halitosis. In spice. Floating in spice. Like oregano? Or... Are you alone? There are many others with me. They all say back off. Can I summon you out of the spirit world to be with me? You can summon me. I will come. Mm -hmm. I call you. You know, I would actually welcome a drum solo at this point. Yeah. <coughs> oh boy, look at the time. Gotta go. Oh wow, our catalytic converter's out. I can see you, but I don't believe the others can. Oh, how convenient. Those who believe can see. Her accent's all over the British Isles. I see her. I do see her. <laughs> Too much Dubonnet. Yeah. <laughs> Make your physical presence known to those who believe only what their eyes can see. Ooh, try diagramming that sentence. Open a window. That one. Kurt Voltheim has finally discovered. I'll run to the corner and get me a pack of smokes. Now come Ooh. back here, Elizabeth. Don't you leave until you finish your homework, young lady. I saw Leo Cocky wants to be more exciting. <laughs> <gasps> that couldn't have been done by a pull cord. This act got an A-plus from Entertainment Weekly. I ate the whole cheese tray. I'm really sorry, everyone. Lombardi's act just keeps on giving, doesn't it? Yeah, he's the James Brown of hypnosis. King, come here. Oh, no, I'll leave him. Do I have something in my teeth? I'll control him. I have the remote. You will think about snossages. The part of Carl Lombardi will be played by a lump of melted wax. I'm in the call to the Bishop of Salisbury. Would you take him away, please, Elizabeth? Oh, King, you tried hard in this movie. You just didn't have anyone to work with. There aren't many who can control an animal by hypnosis, are there, Doctor? <laughs> no. He did what I told him without a single word. It's because he's a dog. You may return, Elizabeth. Andy! Why do you hesitate? Did you step in king poop? What? I told you to go before we left. At this moment? Ladies and gentlemen, I regret to say that the creature who has cost so many lives is on his way here among us even now. <gasps> he was seen leaving the train station an hour ago. She gets up to faint. Okay, good. We'll have an intermission then. Good. Fine.
What do you mean? In this house? I don't know. But she's in the ocean now, preparing to come out. So she's a scuba diving lesbian. <laughs> well, Doctor? Get a brewski? You're a clever man. I don't know how you did it, but it isn't through science as I understand. Mm. I have a way of proving myself to you, but it's going to be harsh. I'm going to tan your little dimpled bottom. Let me get the belt. I got the check. Let's blow. Now you're going back in time to the very beginning. It's a very good place to start. By the power that is mine, I command you. All right, I beg you. Please, pretty please. Do we need new drapes for our green room? <laughs> they want more. They're shouting, holding up cigarette lighters. How long has she had this protrusion? She barely has a pulse. Take her out of this. She stays as she is. One dimensional. You have no right to leave her like this. I am my own right. And I'm my own grandpa. If you wish to try to take her out of hypnosis, you may do so. You know I can't do that. You induce this state, you must release her. Then she remains as she is. Are you and I okay, though? I just want to check in. All this for a half-price beer. Man. The only person who can save our country is Rufus T. Firefly. See which way Lombardi went. Out on the terrace. You're not going out there. You're a woman, so you deserve no answer to your question. Oh, oh. Donald Duck has the ring of power. Mandrake the moron. Touchdown! I dreamed that was married to Jackson Brown. Hmm. Nah, I just don't have my heart in it today. I got a bunch of things to do back in the ocean anyway. See ya. Uh, who am I trying to kid? I'm not a she creature. I'm a she loser. Carlo Lombardi, champion of the caber toss. If I could just throw up, I'd feel better. Last night topped everything, and Lombardi and all that creature talk. He had us in a panic. He did it deliberately. He's aiming for the big circuits. You don't make much of him, do you? I only know he's an extremely clever man and an evil one. And a smelly one. I'm glad your dad asked him to stay over. I want to try and talk to that assistant of his. Professionally? It's a really odd split screen. He's got in a state of complete hypnotic subjugation, a virtual slave to his will. I'm going to try and break that hold on him. What do you think, Tree? Good morning, Miss Chapel. Doctor, I've been thinking about your work, Dr. Lombardi. I think it requires some serious study. Oh, good. I'm delighted. In fact, I'm radiant. I want to talk to your assistant. Of course, any time you wish. Perhaps this morning. Fine, you set it up for me then. <clears throat> oh, by the way, I backed up the toilet. I sorry about that. Cracking good toast this morning, eh? What? You really poured it on last night, didn't you? That she creature stuff was a stroke of sheer genius. <laughs> Everyone lit out like the plague was after them. They'll be talking it up today. Yes, I've no doubt of that. Mm. And that stuff on the pier the other night, the way you tied in with that. Yes. That was a very fortunate coincidence for us. Yes, yes. Uh, by the way, I shall require more suitable living quarters. Now, shall I stay here till I find them? Thank you very much. What I will thought of, I will It's Carlo Cato Lombardi Kalen. Ah, the Exxon Valdez Beach. <laughs> is this felt? It is now. <laughs> Thank you for meeting me here at the soundstage by the beach. What are you doing out here? Looking bleary and waxen. I could get away from you. For a few minutes, anyway. Not even for a minute. Ever heard of personal space? I'll never be free of you. Why did it have to be me? Uh, sleep? It was meant to be. Hey, your earwigs are back. You knew how I hated it. Hated you. You're Come falling back. in love with me, aren't you? You will do as I say. You will not go to the prom with Tim Herboth. Come here. Okay, I'm under your command, but do you have to micromanage me? You're asleep, Andrea. Oh, cut the crap! You can hear what I'm saying. You can understand me. Well, she used a little too much false eyelash glue. Yeah. You're relaxed, Andrea. But he does this whenever he needs to borrow a couple bucks from me. I can't hear you, mayonnaise! Dr. Erickson wishes to talk to you. He wants to level your odds. He's going to try to hypnotize you. You must resist him. You will resist him. As effectively as I'm resisting you? He is our enemy. He's a commie. He is trying to destroy us. You understand? He's jealous of our dynamite road show. Beauty like yours must not be destroyed. It belongs to me. Are you attempting a docking procedure here? I love you. 
Oh. And you love me too. Oh. Don't say it. He has the raw sex appeal of Casper Weinberger. Say it. No. No. She should get a purple heart for doing this role. I hate you with all my heart. Really? Then we're to be married. I can make you grovel in the dirt. Yes. I can turn you into Elizabeth Weatherby. Or whether Elizabeth be. But I can't make you love me. Someday I'm going to kill you. I should kill you. No, I should kill you. But the artist is vain. Oh, you mean Jeff Koons? He can't destroy the beauty he's created. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm, I'm standing on you. I'm sorry. Well, he is kind of cute. I don't know how to love him. How are you, Doc? Look, my mouse melted. Oh, hello. Come in. Look, I'm a scientist. Our body tells me he's coming here today. He's agreed to conduct a demonstration under clinical conditions. Mind if I sit in? No. I'd like to set up a tape recorder. Nope, doing science. Man. I'm stymie, Doc. Man is a killer and I can't touch him. Can't touch this dude. A statement like that calls for some proof. I've got none. All I know is he hates the world and everybody in it. With no food, gerbils died. Man kills for love. That other thing. Hate the profit. Huh. Where do these killings fit in? All three, and don't forget the profit angle. Lombardi's become quite a national figure. I don't know if he's responsible for those murders or not, but I do know he's a very dangerous man. And he makes a great breakfast. Dave Berg, scientist. Well, haven't you left yet? He's lumped them all together. Hypnotism, spiritualism, age regression, reincarnation, and soul transmigration. Soul doing quite a selling job. Soul transmigration. We all have a secret willingness to believe in some of the things he's offering. Green stamps. The passing of the soul into another body after death. That life is eternal. That we can communicate with the dead. Snowblowers that talk. And Lombardi fancies himself the miracle man who's been granted the power to prove these things right. He's an egomaniac playing God. He claims that the life process is continuous, that he can take it back to a former existence and not only communicate with it, but cause it uh, line. to materialize, yeah. to become a physical thing. Can you stand Lord it? Lombardi, the she creature, was the primitive <laughs> life body of somebody living today. What is the strawberries? <laughs> what do you make of that? We're still searching for the answer. We found the answer. The answer is her dress. Some of the details she's given previously have been proven remarkably accurate. That was the medallion that was given to her husband by King Charles. What? Am I in the seat? What? It was found in a grave near Carisbrook. The headstone read Elizabeth Weatherly Blystone, 1600 to 1651. And it was planted there. Oh, this is preposterous. For the love of Do Pete. you hold with this nonsense, Erickson? My mind is open. As is my fly. Thank you. Go on with your experiment, Mr. Lombardi. Hi. Uh, Dr. Lombardi. Of course. Mr. Lombardi. You know, it's quite simple, gentlemen, to disbelieve anything that shatters your smug concept. Yeah, stick it to the man. I've taken this girl back to a time in her life over 300 years ago. To caveman times. Perhaps I can take her back farther than that. Hey, Bunsen Honeydew. To the time of the pharaohs. <laughs> Even to the beginning of creation itself. Don't act, don't act. One soul traveling the entire distance. Utter nonsense. Thank you. I can materialize her in any one of her lives. Let's just get her going in this one. I can transport her from what she is. To what she is. <laughs> to what she was. Don't pull cookies. Really, Lieutenant, are we supposed to watch this, this penny arcade drama? Doctor, have I ever been alone in this room? Not while I was here. I'm not touching you. Does this bug you? You're going into a deep sleep. A big surprise. Very deep. Now imagine you don't have a mustache. He's so expressive. She's not responding. We need jumper cables. Someone in this room is fighting me for her will. And you'll stay after till I find out who. Is it you, Doctor? <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I thought it was someone else's will. I, I'm sorry. A deep sleep. Elizabeth. Chicago style. Very deep. Very Chicago style. That's better. You are now suspended in time and space. A dimension not of sight and sound, but of mind. Now I'm going to give you substance. And my zappa boots. Not form, but substance. 
You are in a thick sauce. You will take back the soul that once was yours. And take back all my empty beer bottles. Andrea will give it to you. Yes, I, I snuck a peek at you. I'm sorry. Oh, good. <laughs> you can express yourself in movement. No, not interpretive dance, no. He boldly plays a guy who stands there. <laughs> it's just menthol action, folks. Don't worry. Who let one? Ugh. Oh, dear. All oh, cramps. Will you take Professor Anderson's glasses off, please? Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, this is highly irregular. Oh, oh, oh. Put them back on. Or just reverse the film. <laughs> that is enough, Elizabeth. I think we've convinced them. Ah, uh, yeah, they're convinced. <laughs> Would you return Andrea's soul to her, please? Thank you. She's got visible something line. Those who believe can actually see the process of transmigration. I saw nothing. Nor I. Trickery. Dickery, Doc. Very clever, Dr. Sorry. Lombardi, but absolutely meaningless. Come on, I worked really hard on that. Can't see because you don't wish to see. Just wait out the scene, Lance. I thought I wanted recognition from you, but now I see it means nothing to me. I want to take my soul and go home. Now you will awaken. You will feel refreshed, Andrea. Like a country lane after a spring shower. You will open your eyes. Now get a juice box and have someone drive you home. And so our story ends. You said before you were giving us substance, but not form. What did you mean by that? Nothing. I... I could have brought her to you in the flesh. Just as she was 300 years ago. Come now, Doctor. We're too old for fairy tales. Not me! Do you seriously expect men of science to... I expect nothing. I want nothing. Well, maybe a back rub or some fudge, but other than that... Come, Andrea. Yep, she's refreshed. Up and at him, just leaping out of bed. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Sorry about fighting for a will there. I don't know. What do you make of it? I'm trying to remain neutral. Could you not ask me questions? I don't know. Well, it's cooled down, man. Well, this belongs to the police department. I better take it along. Yet three, yet three, though scientifically disproven, Elizabeth Weatherby is real. Jake Giddy's nostril slashed at Reservoir. Theft of Dodgers continues. Well, grips the interest of one disturbed editor. Why don't you just put him right in the discount bin there? Yeah. Some hate him, others merely loathe him. This is a warehouse for returns. Books past the million sales mark. I wish yours would sell. Your roasted elephant garlic, sir. Thank you, Olaf. <laughs> I've closed a deal with the Beale Syndicate. Right. 395 newspapers are starting to serialize the Weatherby affair next month. Yeah. Hmm. How's that for a quick profit, Lombardi? You're a genius, Mr. Chapel. Huh? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Save uh, for that roomy yeah. Punjab bullet. Well, uh, now that you're in the big chips, you'll be able to find yourself somewhere to stay. What, what? Right then, Willy Wag? What? what? Uh, get yourself something big, something nice. You can afford it. No, I'll stay right here. If I decide to move, I'll let you know. Well, perhaps you could King. stay out of my bed. King. Where's King? I haven't seen him since early this morning. I hardly see him since Dr. Lombardi took over this place. Unfortunately, Miss Chapel, your dog and I are not compatible. I hollowed him out and made a fruit bowl out of him. I hope that was all right. Lombardi warns of more killings. We, oui, I did that thing. Don't press her luck, Doc. Lay off the predictions for a while. One miss and our profits nosedive. I'm certain our good fortune will continue. Hmm. <laughs> Van Clyburn's Express. No, it's, it's, it's Von Ryan's Express. Oh. Eggs, butter, cereal, milk, toilet paper. And it's Van Clyburn, so... Oh, jeez. Yeah, so. You will applaud feeling refreshed. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'll refund all your money. And soon they're opening for Senior Wences. Thanks for teleporting in for this scene, honey. <laughs> Crowds of up to six applauded wildly. Get, Get him! him! 
Then they climbed up a radio tower and did their acting. World's narrowest car. Now oh, this should clear everything up. Carlo Lombardi is deep throat. Sorry I've made it so difficult for you to follow me. What were you doing down there? Oh, communing with nature. Okay, I was tinkling. But now I feel the need of human company. Know anyone? Shall we walk to my house? I need to re-grease my person. Oh, we've come full something. I've got some more info on the movie you may need. And then without warning, a kissing spree. Worf, what are you up to? <laughs> I have to be home by 11. Now don't worry, they have triple A. Tune says, we're okay. Sir, there's a cliff a couple of feet away. Huh? The topography of this movie is getting suspicious. Well, we might have to rock it a little. I hope they stop screaming. It's getting really annoying. I was walking with Lombardi when I heard the scream. But I knew he did it. He's a murderer. And I can't touch him. Can't touch this. Do, 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 do. Audience, ready to kill selves. Hey, my band's coming over to practice. Is that okay? That thing last night, I didn't like it. Unfortunate. Such a nice couple. Yeah, I feel as though I killed them myself. You push a car over a cliff? Well, hardly. <laughs> oh, and I ate your last Hot Pocket. Sorry. There are two bank books. One in your name, one in Dorothy's. It's Dorothy. Oh, yes, her dowry. You will see that each holds a deposit of $250,000. Well, we've done amazingly well. Hmm. We've only just started. That should keep you in style. Somewhere else. Ouch. I want you to move out of here. Yes. No, it's better that I stay. It's over, Carl. Hmm. <laughs> oh, no, you can't stare me down. I can look right back at you. I'll tell you what I see. I see a dirty sideshow fortune teller with delusions of grandeur. And pomade and wattles. You're very foolish to say those things to me. You're an ignorant man. Well, I try to keep busy. Hey! I assume our business relations are over. What for? Yeah. I'm on to a good thing. We'll continue our business affairs at my office. This was the prequel to Bye. Jeffrey. <laughs> I'll move out tomorrow. I understand you invited some people here tonight for a demonstration. Tomorrow will suit me fine. Good. <laughs> That's our hero from the movie today, Lance Fuller. Oh, yeah, this is his legendary book, Do Not Act. I'm yeah. studying his non-acting method. And, hey, I was wondering if you could help me out with a couple scenes. Sure. I got King sure. Lear here. Yeah, I've heard the Fuller method is perfect for the bard. Yeah. Okay, so I'm the Duke of Albany then? Right. right. Okay. All friends shall taste the wages of their virtue and all foes the cup of their deservings. Oh, see, oh, see. My poor fool, Hank. No, no life at all, and why, why should a horse, a dog, a rat have life, and now not at all? Uh, a little too much eye contact, yeah, Mike. Yeah. You know, oh. Listen to Lance here. Do not, under any circumstances, mm. listen to your fellow actor. No. Simply wait till they've stopped talking. Right, yeah, right. you know, I think I wasn't looking down at the floor enough. Yeah, I think that's that what was, it was. Okay. Let's try a scene from The Odd Couple. This time, remember what Lance says here. At most, a mild and petulant show of incredulity, whatever the circumstances of the scene. Got it. Okay, okay this should be fun. I'm Felix. Here we go. <clears throat> it's not spaghetti. It's linguini. Linguini. Now it's garbage. Mm, no, just a little too much emotion. Yeah, try, really? try network. Okay. All right, I think I got it. <clears throat> I was mad as hell, and I'm not going to take it anymore. Yeah. Not quite. Yeah. A little flatter, Mike. How about okay. Schindler's List? Okay, all right. I could have done more. <laughs> could have saved more people. Okay, okay, you've Closer. almost got it there. Okay, now try the scene from Waterworld. Now, you're Kevin Costner. Kevin Costner. Right, you okay. see your precious catamaran sinking into the ocean. Right into the ocean. And... My boat. Perfect. Yeah. That's it. Wonderful. Money, baby. <laughs> okay, got it. Thanks a lot for helping. We'll be right back. Thanks. I was looking for a moment there, and I think I found that moment. Guy. You were expecting someone else, huh? Maybe that cipher of a scientist? Dr. Erickson, perhaps. You know if he's looking for a roommate? <laughs> no matter. Did he get that suit at Petite Sophisticate? We're leaving the country tomorrow, you and I. Bring your past lives. I'm not going with you. Man, yeah, completely out of nowhere. I love him. 
You'll be with me on the plane. And I get your peanuts. You'll do as I say. And I say clog dancing. I have found the power to resist you. He accidentally rolled under my seat cushion. He has given it to me. But I have to give it back next semester. Hi. No one can take you from me. I live only for you. You're the light that shines out of the darkness. You're like my fish locator. You're like my global positioning system. One crappy day I'm having. Lost my boyfriend, lost my girlfriend, got kicked out of my apartment. You'll never have you. Look into my upsetting mustache. I'll kill him. You do that for me. I'm sorry, what were you saying? Look deep into my eye bags. You'll kill him. Come on, come on, you want some? What you got, huh? Huh? I'm taking you down. This time you'll do as I say. Viewers are invited to finish the scene themselves. I haven't seen you and Dorothy together much lately. What's the matter? Lovers quarrel? Oh, you haven't heard. Hmm. I'm not in this movie. Well, here's something that will help you patch it up. Arnold Stang's autograph should fetch a pretty penny. $250,000, Dorothy's. And yours. You helped to set it up. There's more coming in. Go over and show it to her. She doesn't know anything about it. This will help you to forget Carlo's little girl, eh? Hmm. I don't think I could forget where the money came from. I told you I was a fool about such things. I'm sure I'll never have another offer like that again, but thanks for giving me the first offer. Hey, he's moving. Look at that. The scene was actually blocked. Hi, Ted. Hi, little fella. Who are you looking for? Andrea Elizabeth or Elizabeth Andrea? I saw both of them down near the ocean a while ago. Thanks. Oh, Ted. Both. Oh, what's she got that I haven't? Ugh. Money, breeding, social position. Don't answer. It's a trap. Some people have too much of everything. You don't have enough of anything. Yes, I had that coming. She's a nice girl, Ted. Well, it was nice meeting you. <laughs> and thanks for the Bob Dole handshake, jerk. Ah, here comes Monty Markham to the rescue. Hi, beautiful. Bob. Hi, Fallback. What are you drinking? That's a scotch, bourbon, gin cocktail. <laughs> no vodka? <laughs> You must be tapering off. Let me know when you get down to the scotch and bourbon cocktail. It's neat that she's interested in his hobby. There goes the gin. <laughs> now I'm down to a bourbon and scotch cocktail. And the hydrangea bushes die a horrible death. <laughs> Some squirrels down there are going to have a kick-ass party. This means you're cured of alcoholism and you'll never have any bouts of booze drinking again. Sessions presents Summer Gold. Gee, I'm supposed to do a kid's birthday party around here somewhere. You taught me how to fight him. His power is gone. Really? When did I do that? We'd better be getting back to the house. He'll be looking for you. I don't want to go through with it tonight. And kissing me is hard, I know. But... You've got to. Resist him publicly and he'll leave you alone. Or bury it till at midnight, I don't know. What if I don't? I'll retain my football-shaped head. <laughs> I'll fight him for you. Uh, no, wait, I won't. Forget it. I think I'll win. By the way, do you know why we love each other? I don't know. Just stay here a little longer with me. Um, okay. How's this? Jeez, I lost my doves, too. What next? Did you bring the frisbee? Hey, can you pull my stitches out, bud? You can kill him. What? I command you. Huh? Yes, King. I will kill him. Yeah, but you didn't even throw a stick. Rannix. Well, good luck. Not me growling. They dubbed it in. Arr, I'm a pirate. Arr. Get away. He's going crazy. His prices are way too low. Just had Novocaine. Get away. Sorry, I lashed out again. Mm, I don't want to be in movies. I just want to eat bacon strips and chase cars. That had no effect on me. That voice didn't come from you. Yes, it did. Let's get away from here. Let's stand over there. Better. Well, we're ready to start if you just could sit. Or... Hey, can I see you a minute? I think I killed that Swedish guy. I've a few theories by now, and I want to try them out on you. Santa is the killer. 
Every time this thing has struck, it's been after one of these demonstrations. See? That's been the pattern. Okay. I've checked it. You think he has some way of signaling his accomplices? I can hear you. I can call him that. Another thing I've discovered... I'm part woman. Every time we find the footprints coming out of the ocean, uh -huh. they go back to exactly the same spot. You're going on the assumption that Bombardi's creature is the real thing. Well, that's the only thing I can go on. Otherwise, it's the psychopathic ward for me. Hey, Chet Baker. How about you? What do you think? As a scientist, I'm hysterical with laughter. As a man out for a social evening, I'm not so sure. In fact, very unsure. Yeah. Yeah. All right, folks. Showtime. House lights out, please. Say, uh, send Olaf out here, will you? Sure. Hey, Fanny and Alexander, listen up. Lieutenant James wants to speak to you. Oh. Out on the terrace. Yes, sir. I'm making Hellraiser. Am I under arrest, I hope? I sure would like to get away from this boot shop. <laughs> hey, have you got a tape recorder? Uh, Mr. Chappell's study. Can you take me there without going through the living room? Oh, yeah, sure. Come right this way. <laughs> that was my favorite scene in the whole movie. Uh, right here, sir. Thank you. Two giants of the film industry finally have a scene together. Ladies and gentlemen, stomp. I will touch you gently, and you'll fall into a deep sleep. You have a little chicken gravy up there. Your eyes are getting heavy. Always criticize my weight. You're starting to close now. Sorry, you're on your own. Ooh, who jiffed in here? Oof. Silly's backfired. That's right, I'm dying up here. I will count to four, and you will fall into a deep, deep sleep. One. Mm -mm. Two. Thirty-nine. Three. Four. Ha, ha, ha. My will isn't my purse, and you can't have it. Um, she's hypnotized. Ladies Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, my subject is not herself tonight. She, she is too tense. She's a TP and a wigwam. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, sleep. You take your place on the couch, please. No, you sleep on the couch tonight. They should do a jump ball for her soul. What exactly is their act again? <laughs> Dumb, stupid audience. You have eyes only for mine. Don't. You have ears only for my voice. Nose only for my scent. Now you're going into a deep sleep. Your eyes are heavy. Uh -huh. Close your eyes and go into a deep sleep. Like when you're on a date with Lance Fuller. Deeper. Deeper. Come on, I call. Maybe if we did the wave. She's dead. You said before you were giving us substance, but not form. What did you mean by that? I don't like this new Prince album. I could have brought it to you in the flesh. Just as she was 300 years ago. That's all the evidence I need, whatever it was. I'm talking to you, Elizabeth. Elizabeth Ann She Creature. Where were you born? He's doing all his old stuff. Man, I am taking the pipe so bad right now. My subject is disturbed tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Her world is disturbed. I feel a menace to the people in this house. I urge you all to leave here at once. Do as he says, everybody. Let's clear out of here. But be sure to tip your waitresses and drive carefully on the way home. Good night. Is anybody listening to me? So you want to end this movie or something? or <laughs> Get her out of it. Perhaps you can. Get her out of it. You kill me, and you kill her. You kill her, you kill Anson Williams. Damn, these seaweed bullets aren't working. Sea creature with kung fu grip. Assistant director, anybody know when I'm supposed to do key grip? Hello? And the creature roughhouses people to death. I was an hour away from retirement. Ugh. Nothing, nothing. Project nothing. Tell Moondoggy I love him. It'll be coming back this way. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but Bombardi was right. Winning isn't everything. He did it. Did what? Brought the girl back. The girl? 
Yeah, anyway, you cops ever find my bike? I'm not quite dead. You might want to get me some help, though. They tried to light this, but this movie is like a super absorbing black hole. What? Hello? Well, what? Can you? Hello? Against, I, I can't know, see. Ow, you light. stepped on my foot. Ow, hey. Ow. Oh, that's my elbow. What? Tripped. And there's the kickoff. What? How could they miss each other? What? Space is warped and time is bendable. The creature was wearing cleats and toe socks. You stay here with me, we'll move. The rest of you get some brush and driftwood, anything that'll burn. What are you going to do with it? Well, then set the to put a circle around all those prints. Uh-huh. Whatever killed them will be back and we'll set fire to it. Bring back some gasoline from the car, will you? That logic is completely pregnable. He's doing a Noel Coward play all by himself. <laughs> the Philly Fanatic! <laughs> Say, I, I hit your cat. I'm real sorry. This guy does not have good escapability. Right then, do you come into the house for a sherry and we'll have a little chin wag. Meanwhile, on a nearby wedding cake. I want those Glengarry leads. General Tom Thumb. Wait a minute. Oh, you... foul. Illegal procedure. It's like my grandma framed this shot. Plenty of wall. Now, do you believe, Doctor? Kill him. No. Wait a minute. You're not Roy Johnson, are you? I'm supposed to kill Roy Johnson. No, bad. No, no. Well, mm, gosh, I. Mm, hmm. Uh. Now she's just pretending to be hypnotized, so she doesn't have to help. Okay, girlfriend, I got the Hagen Dazs. Let's dish. Fear, elation, what is it? And he said he was going to call, but then he doesn't call. Oh, it makes you wonder what the he creatures look like, huh? <laughs> Despair, love, joy, tell us. Oh, man, she's got a prison matron bosom. Ooh, I think the director had some issues with his mother or something. <laughs> Concern, passion, hunger, what, Lance? Ah, she got a slight mustache problem. You know, you can over-condition your hair. Mm-hmm. Huh? Ennui, angst, apathy, gas. What? Oh, self-delivering cotton candy. It's the she vix vapor rub creature. Well, caught the downdraft there. Oh, back, back. I want to go the other way. I... Cold, jubilant, headachey. His emotional memory is the previous scene. <laughs> oh, I ate too much chocolate. Oh, oh. Do I have anything on my face? You couldn't kill the man you loved. Hairstyle by El Marco. I mustn't let you die. Your beauty must live. Your average attractiveness must live on. I will touch you and you will awaken. Young and beautiful. Freed forever from the past. God, he shouldn't have siphoned motor oil. What I have done, no man can ever do. Take such a lame act so far. (laughs) And I'm dead. Thank you. Ah, it's working perfectly. (laughs) Frodo's going snorkeling. Hurry up! Okay, civilian. It does seem to be helping. <laughs> I don't see anything. Fire! Maybe they should have a staff meeting about letting citizens boss them around. You see anything? <laughs> no. How about you, Doc? You still see something? No. I was mistaken. <laughs> Who was that lethargic, lunk-headed stranger? Well, I'm sorry I touched you, but you don't have to become a nun. She was here, wasn't she? I smell taboo. Yes. Wow, look at those worms down there. He's got a list of his facial expressions taped to her back. She killed Carlo. He forced her to come out of a world he should have left there alone. Huh? 
There are a lot of dark corners we weren't meant to pry into, I guess. Are you saying you still haven't showered? Uh, are we moving over here now? Uh, I'm right here if you need me. She'll never be back, will she? No. And you'll never be back either, right? And the Mysterians! Uh -huh. Man, if I ever wanted to put a movie into a stump grinder, this is the one. Yeah, me too. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> So guys, what do you make of that big question mark at the end of the movie? Well, I think they were asking when, as in, when will this movie not exist? Or maybe it was a why question, as in, why did King George and his parliament react with such indifference, nay, arrogance, to the colonists' long-standing grievances of taxation without representation, leading to the revolution, which led to the United States, which led to California, which led to Hollywood and the motion picture industry, which led, ultimately, to this hard, bitter little knot of a movie. It's a good point. But I, I think it may have been a hmm question, as in, hmm? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. This crappy movie was sitting on my head. <laughs> hey, say, guys, it just hit me. We're free to escape. Since Mike blew up the Observer's planet. I didn't, I mean, I right, did, and I Mrs. Forrester me. and the Brain Guy seem to be tied up looking for Bobo. Yeah, hey, let's boogie! <laughs> okay, well, here we go. <clears throat> to infinity Shh, and... Disney lawsuit. <laughs> some other places. Yeah. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be turning over. I wonder what's going on. What's going on? We got it going on. That's what's going on, huh? How about this guy here, huh? I say, hmm, I sure would hate for those eight balls on the satellite to escape. This beautiful man right here says, let me handle it. He is holding you here with his mind, you poor dumb. How do you like that? How'd you like to have this guy on your crew instead of those yappy little tin cans you hang out with? <laughs> this guy is the best. Why, thank you, bro. Tell you something else, Nelsoni. This guy's gunning for you. You blew up this man's world, as I will continue to remind him every chance I get. You whacked his planet, man, and he is plenty. Cheese. Let me yes, tell you. you have destroyed an ancient and proud race, my people, and let me I tell you that I was talking. Boy, everything's about you, isn't it? Well, I, I'm very sorry. Anyway, but... Nelson, sorry. you're mine. You'll never escape. Never. <laughs> 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 uh, 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 excuse me, malevolent one, but hadn't we ought to go get Professor Bobo? Hmm. That's a good idea. Say, could you hand me the cheese? Oh, why certainly. Thanks. Oh. I give oh. the oh. orders. Oh. Hey, we better go find Bobo. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Produced in association with the Sci-Fi Channel.